Tristan Jutra is here to talk tech with us, and um, we've both got our iPads. How cool is that? <laughs> it's an iPad nation, isn't it? All right, we are going to start off with uh, a story you sent us about spam on Pinterest. Yeah, we have a little bit of a good tech gone bad uh, today, a <laughs> couple of stories anyway. Well, we were talking a few weeks ago about Pinterest mm -hmm. and how many people are using it to post all sorts of beautiful images of you know, clothing and food and all sorts of great, Travel. great things. Travel. Exactly. And so it's, it, people are taking to it like crazy. 80% women on there. There's a lot of look, folk, uh, gentlemen on there as well Looking nowadays. for those women. Exactly. <laughs> now, the, pro the problem is, uh, well, there's two things. One is that Pinterest, in order to make some money off it, they were originally using something called skim links. And those were Amazon affiliate links links to, so whenever someone posted a product that happened to be on Amazon, they would get a commission if someone purchased it. Oh, okay. So they stopped doing that because there was a little bit of controversy, but now other people realize, wow, there's, there's a way to make, make money off of mm -hmm. Pinterest mm -hmm. because it, people are so crazy about it. So there's some fellows, uh, some spammers have gone on there posting links under several different accounts and you know, pretending they're regular users, making up identities, and they'll have dozens, if not hundreds, of accounts. And if anyone clicks on any of those you know, wonderful you know, pair of shoes or special, you know, fancy oven or whatever, um, cookbooks, whatever the case is, they would, these spammers will get a cut of the sale. So they're, they're registering hundreds of accounts and just basically polluting Pinterest with, with all this stuff. And then, you know, the thing that we often talk about is how many people are using Pinterest. They skew those numbers as well, right? Because they're not sort of true users. Exactly. Hmm. So th there's another wrinkle to this story is that the fellow, he was 24 years old. His name was Steve. He, could, he said he was making about $1,000 a day and was anticipating making up to $2,500 a day. And the, the day after the interview, he came out and said, no, 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 I was just kidding. It's a joke. But it's not. So, well, that's, that's the controversy right now because they, you know, people seem to think that, well, it, his, it, the story checks out. They verified some of his Amazon codes and whatnot. So he's been removed from the popular links on Pinterest. No doubt. But, uh, so just be careful. It, it's actually, there's really no harm if you click on and buy something that a spam haps, happens to put on there, except you're just kind of encouraging the behavior. Right, and I'm sure it's not what Pinterest set it up for. Exactly. That's not what they had in mind. But, but, Another thing on Pinterest. <laughs> well, he's not the only one. This guy, Steve, isn't the only one making money off Pinterest. The Obama campaign actually has their own Pinterest page and they're putting all sorts of they have a little store section on there and you can buy all sorts of babies for Obama all sorts of paraphernalia health reform still and, a BFD yeah. and of course they uh, our health our vote oh all yeah. sorts of stuff mugs with his face on it buy some Obama socks and there you go but would anyone call Obama a spammer no, no. but but he's using his own identity or but his I, team is I don't know anyway. yeah I was just gonna say he probably doesn't even know where Pinterest is <laughs> <laughs> and he shouldn't he doesn't have time he's the leader of the free world <laughs> <Exactly>. <laughs> all right now if you own a Mac you need to know about this yeah there was there's been a, a Trojan horse uh, which is a form of malware that's been going around since about 2011 a lot of people think that Macs are immune to viruses and malware now this isn't a virus per se it's it's a piece of software that if you go to uh, an infected website, it will uh, prompt you to, it'll automatically download, and then what will happen is that it'll ask you for a password, and then it will ins install on your system, and then it'll be used for all sorts of nefarious purposes. So the report came out the other day saying there's over 600,000 Macs worldwide have been infected with this, including almost 300 at Apple's headquarters itself. Oh my goodness. So Apple uh, issued a couple of security patches. It was basically, uh, there's a flaw in their implementation of Java, which is a, a programming environment to uh, the allowed distribution of cross-platform applications, a bit of jargon there. But the, the, the bottom line is that you should go to your software update feature on your Mac and update all the recent security updates, especially those for Java, and that will plug the hole for this, uh, for this uh, Trojan horse. Mm -hmm. Now, you were, Tristan was here yesterday giving us a, a lesson on Twitter because we're trying to get everybody up to speed on mm -hmm. Twitter. And that was one of the <clears> things <throat> you really stressed was security. And I think so many of us who are sort of, I'll call us newbies, you know, not real avid users, not pros like you, once we've set our security settings, we think they stay that way. And I didn't realize this till you were telling us yesterday. Often with updates, the security settings change. Mm -hmm. So the ones you have in place aren't necessarily effective anymore. And that especially holds true for social networking sites like Facebook when it comes to your privacy settings. So in addition to making sure your software for your, your computer, your operating system, and your browser are totally up to date, you want to make sure all your social networks you're using that you're checking on the security settings for those on a fairly regular basis mm -hmm. because they sometimes move the goalposts on you, such, such as Facebook, because it's in their interest for everything to be wide open, but it encourages more sharing and, and things like that. But you know, it can t potentially put your privacy at risk, and that's something that uh, 
uh, we don't want. No. Right. Well, the kids these days don't seem to mind, but the rest of us do. <laughs> exactly. Tristan, thanks for joining us on this Good Friday. It was, it was a pleasure. All right. If you'd like to get a hold of Tristan, he's all over the place. Get Connected airs on BNN Tuesdays. Uh, you can hear them on Saturday at uh, 10 a.m. on CKNW. You can contact him at Tristan Jutra through Twitter or at Get Connected now through Twitter. And all these all the stories will be posted on my Twitter feed today. There you go. Thanks.